Hey guys, Lord Hemlock here. We're about to start another LP. I'm going to be LPing Super Mario Kart. This is an old favorite of mine, and uh, I think I like it better than the other. Well, I gotta take that back. I like Double Dash a lot, but this is still in my all-time favorites. For this LP, I'll be going through the 50cc class races. All three, or four cups, I believe. But for now, let's see. Who do I like? I'm going to go with my biggest fan, Koopa. Koopa! Koopa, Koopa, Koopa. Alright, let's go to Mushroom Cup Races. There's five courses in this one. And let's get going. Interesting note about this, about uh, Mario Kart, the first one. There was a coin system, and that the more coins that you had, the faster you went. This, I don't believe it was implemented in any of the other games for some reason. It's really cool, though. Each of the bots has their own specialty that they can do while they're while they're racing. Uh, as you saw, Luigi and I believe Mario can summon a star power, which is kind of annoying, especially whenever you're. <laughs> I just hit Peach. Especially whenever you are um, trying to pass them, and they just suddenly pull the star power and ram into you. But this is 50 CC, so they're not going to do that because they're nice. <laughs> From what I've seen, the common, uh, what do you call it, the most common order that you're going to see regarding the who's going to be in first, second, blah blah blah, um, Luigi is always going to be one of the top tiers along with Yoshi. Um, Toad is always going to be last for some reason. Toad is, and if you're playing 50cc and you're you know, decent at it, you were always going to lap him. And it is the funniest freaking thing ever. Like, right there, I just lapped him. Oop. And he's gonna be mad and send me a mushroom. I don't care. Yay, we won! Koopa Koopa. Don't ask me why I love him. He's just my bestest friend. Oh, DK Jr. took last this time. That's amazing. I didn't even notice that I passed him. I was too busy making fun of Toad. Alright. Next up, this area. It doesn't really list names, which kind of bugs me. I like to know what I'm, what I'm getting myself into. Anyway, there are some... Let's talk about the special abilities. As with every single Mario Kart game, there are special abilities. Um, that you can pick up from the uh, mystery blocks. That's what I'm going to call them, because they're like Mr. Blacks. Um, you have the green shell, the red shell. Uh, the green shell and the red shell are just... Well, th think of Mario Brothers. You kick them out, and they uh, make you... And they will. Uh, the red shell will target enemies. It will try to... It's best to try and hit the enemy. The green shells will just go out in a straight line, and they will, they'll bounce around from time to time. And do what they do best. Just kick butt. Um, you've got the double coins, which just gives you two coins, uh, which, so your speed will be increased. But keep in mind, with that comes the possibility of um, losing control, if you're not used to that kind of speed. Um, let's see, there is also the feather, which allows you to jump and do a little twirl. It's useful in a couple areas, but not many. Um, there is also the lightning, which will shrink all the other drivers, and they'll be decreased in speed, and you can also run over them. There's the star power, which, as Luigi showed, uh, makes you invincible temporarily, and if you run into someone, they lose a lot of coins. So they are essentially fairly put out of the race. Uh, an interesting thing that was put into this one, and I think it was put into all the other ones too, was the ability to hop with the um, shoulder buttons. Which is kind of neat, and it's good for um, if you want to do a skid like that. So you can go around corners fairly tightly. The only problem with that is, if you're skidding for too long, it will make you spin out. So don't try to hold a turn that long. You can tap it, and it'll start to allow you to drag yourself into it. Alright, that was the second race, and let's go. Heh, <laughs> they're spinning out. I love how Mario is just getting his butt handed to him consistently. Princess Peach is beating him out. And Luigi's just... Gosh, 
Luigi. I hate Luigi. Ooh, the first ghost house. I like the ghost houses. This is one of those good areas if you have the feather. There's a uh, secret uh, path that you can take that will decrease the amount of time. Oh, I forgot about the banana peels. Um, the banana peels will be just be placed in the middle of the, of the path, and people can run over them and slip. Or even spin out. I just love how many coins are in this area. Oh, yes, anyway, that there's a secret path, and I'll I just passed that. I'll show it to you again. I'll try to point it out. Um, it is. Oh, if you bump into, the, yeah, right there. If you see straight ahead, that was a path that you could take. If you had the feather, you could go straight ahead and just go right into the goal. Um, but since I don't have the feather, it's kind of worthless to me. Come on, are they? They're going around it. That's not fair. I have three banana peels there. Whatever. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh yes, the blocks around this area are uh, destroyable. If you bump into them, they will. Uh, <laughs> they will be destroyed, and then you can fall into the pit if you don't change your angle. So it's very important that you watch yourself and don't bump into the sides, because it can screw you over pretty easily. What I get? What I get? Uh, I got another green shell. Do I hate Toad that much? Yes, I do. He jumped over it. Wow, that was impressive for Toad. I am very imp Oh, see, that's what I meant by falling out. Oh, go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, wow, they weren't, they weren't anywhere near me anyway. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so if you fall off a course, uh, Lakitu will come and pick you up, but he'll also confiscate, from, confiscate some coins from you. He's kind of jerky like that. This is also one of the only... Uh, Mario Kart games. I think it's, I think it's the only Mario Kart game that it ends, um, that has a live system. It, if you see in the bottom right, ne right next to my coins, I have a little cart symbol. I don't remember what that's for. I haven't had to use it lately. Um, I think it's if you completely bomb out in the race, you can use it. But I, again, I don't remember. I'll check on that later, and I'll keep you guys up to date on what I learned. From now on, it's just going to be me racing and me commentating on how awesome my skills with Koopa is. Which is just going to be me being a douche against the other team. And I won't stop talking. This is what I do. I don't stop talking. I don't shut up ever. Okay, except for that. Oh, oh yes. Um, interesting note about the first Bowser's keep. There are thwomps, as you just saw. On the first lap, they won't do anything. This is to allow you to know where they are and how to dodge them. Most of the time, you can just go in between them. Later on, in some of the other cups, you won't be able to do that. You'll have to know when, um, which one is going to uh, be up and which one's going to be down. So you just have to memorize the layout. But for now, you can go right between them with no problem. <laughs> I just got Peach. Uh, the um, little yellow arrow that you just saw is a speed booster. They are in f several levels. If you run over them, they will give you an increase of speed, but that also comes to the price of handling. So, be very aware of when you have to turn, how to control it, and all that jazz. See right there? Um, if you hold back while you are... Um, while you're carrying a shell or something like that, it will aim it backwards. Um, it's not as efficient as it was in the later games. Um, meaning that it won't actually shoot backwards with the, with the green shells, it will actually just place it like it's a banana peel. Which is kind of useful if you want to lay a trap and you don't and you know where it is, and you don't want to get hosed yourself. Because uh, I've shot a shell forward several times and hit myself right in the face, which is not cool. It's not cool at all, and it's not fun. Oh, oh, okay. 22 coins, yeah, I'm not, they're not going to catch up to me. Oh yeah, I'm already about to lap Bowser if he stays still. Nah, not worth it. Yes! Fourth race done, and we are going to take on the fifth one and finish it. How, f how far behind was Luigi? Wow, he was a whole ten seconds behind me. Jeez, I may be able to do the 100cc. Alright, next level. And the final level for this area. Similar to the very first level in this, in this cup. If you hold down the, the B button, which is the accelerator button, while you are trying to um, 
uh, while the green light's going, while, you know, while it's all charging up and stuff, it will cause you to spin out, so it's not a good idea. Um, in the later games, I believe, I'm not sure if you can do it in this one, in the later games, if you time it right, um, and hit the B button just as the light's turning green, it will give you a speed boost, and you'll just dash uh, in front of everyone. And everyone will be left behind in the dust. But, uh, again, I don't remember whether that was in, uh, placed in this one. I haven't been able to do it, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm a decent da gamer, but I'm not exactly proficient at everything. That's for sure. Whoa! Heh, <laughs> whoops. Now, I wanted to get those three coins, and I'm not going to do that again, because Luigi tends to catch up on me with me on this level a lot. So, I'm not going to take that long turn. Ideally, just like in any other racing game, you want to take sharp corners and try to... Um, make as little effort as you can in your turns so that you can just go around corners like that because he would have caught up if I tried to go that wide corner. If if you take the um, very tight tightness of the corner just like what I was doing right there and just like I'm doing right here or healthy cut across the landscape you'll cut time and you'll be a lot faster in what you're doing which is ideal. What I could start doing is going through those pipes, but I don't trust myself enough, especially with ha having 30 coins. Because that's... I'm 32 now. That's re really pretty fast for this level. What I find interesting is the, um, the fact that this is all done with Mode 7. This entire map is just a 2D plane where they added a few sprites, and they are just rotating it. And you're just driving through it. It's really cool. It's not like it was a 3D course and they added and they worked with it. It was just a 2D bitmap, I'm sure, or something like that. And they just rotate it. And I just did a f um, perfect race on all of those. Hoorah. The maximum number of points you can get from a race, 45. And now for the celebration. Koopa is the winner! And for some reason there's a giant fish that... Oops, out of cup. Ooh! That looks painful for the poor fishy. Clink, 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 clink. 50cc mushroom race cup. Koopa wins the gold. Great race! Alright, guys. This has been the first of several LPs regarding Super Mario Kart. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you kids next time. Later.